Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial video I'm creating for my plugin that I have just released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This plugin will allow you to do basic callbacks for Steam. It will include basic user matchmaking and friend callbacks. It will also have the system in place for you guys in order to create more callbacks if necessary. All you have to do is look at the Steam API documentation that's online and hook up anything that's in there. And then all like the engine will automatically handle all the stuff that you can do with it. It will allow you to create the uh, the hookup of the events. So whenever it you know whenever it gets called, it fires the event in the engine. So let's have a look at it in engine. Obviously, in order to turn the plugin on, you go to edit plugins, and then in your plugins tab, it will be at the bottom under other. Now by default, it will be off. So whenever you turn it on. It will come up with this pop up that you will have to restart the engine. Once the engine reloads again, the, the plugin will be enabled and then you can start using it. So then if you then go to something, say like your game instance file, which is where I use quite a lot of calls for PlayFab, which is what, where this plugin initiated from. The reason I've, I've created it is because during my PlayFab tutorials, uh, we discussed purchasing items with real money through Steam. Obviously, there isn't an innate um, callback mechanic within the engine in order to do so. So I decided to make the plugin in order to make it easier for people to use. So if you now go to uh, callback plugin, there we go. If you just put call in, it should usually quite often go to it anyway. Uh, so you can see here that we've got friend, matchmaking and user. Let me just grab all of these. And then put them into the scene so that we can see each one individually. So the friend callback, if you go up, if you drag this out and then put in bind, it will show you the two events I've created already for you guys to use. So this is uh, the game overlay state. So if if Steam has put on the overlay, you know, like when you're in a game and you can do um, shift tab. And it will open up the steam overlay this is basically a way of detecting if it's open or not so if we just quickly look at this the uh the event that is returned is a ball um so you guys will be able to see if it's true or false whether it's open or not and then the other one that's in here is uh steam persona state change now this is to do with the person that's calling it so if we go and create the event off of here and then look at this this is a structure if we break it it contains the steam user id of you know the person whose state has changed and it contains an enum of the state changed now if we just quickly look at the enums here of what there is there's change name change status come online gone offline game changed games like changed server changed avatar and it basically just contains all of these different states that a player might like, you know, their status of it might change. So if if you want to be able to detect any of these within the game, then you're going to need to hook this up using the friends callback. So next, let's have a look at the matchmaking callback. So if we drag off this, you can see the two events that I've given you by default as ones that I believe that you're most likely to use. The first of that being the lobby invite. So this is if you go to your friends and, you know, invite to game, it will send an invitation to the player. Um, you could then hook this up in game to make like an in game invite system. You'll still have the Steam pop up that will say like, you know, accept, decline, all that sort of stuff. But you, you'll be able to receive things through the engine as well, like through your game. This has the Steam user ID, the lobby ID, so the lobby that the player is going to join and the game ID. The second one that I've included for you guys is Lobby Updated. Now, this one is a little bit trickier. Um, this is more specifically to do with chat, or at least that's what it says within the Steam API um, documentation. It says it's a lobby chat room. However, it's more like a generic lobby than anything else. And this returns um, another struct, and this has four inside of it rather than the three that you get for the invite this has the steam lobby id so the lobby that it's in the user change steam id this is the user whose state in the lobby has just changed the making steam change steam id is slightly different this is more for if uh if 
say like the the person who hosted the lobby is kicking somebody or muting somebody something like that this is them that is doing the call rather than the person whose actually status has changed and then the member state is again an enum and if we look into that you'll see here that it's either entered left disconnected kicked or banned so that's the matchmaking ones again with all of these you can just simply hook them up you know once you've got this bind event called which i would do on some sort of initialization of the game starting then all you need to do is hook up whatever you want to the to the events that you're making from it and you know there you go it will it will automatically fire whenever that event is called and now the last one is the user callback so again if we go on bind this has two events again that i thought you know that would you guys are most likely to use the first one is st uh, steam get or session ticket so again if we just create an event and again drag out the struct you'll see here that it's just got the auth ticket and the ticket result now with this one specifically this is more like of a debug um more than something that you know that you really want to get it's basically a result when creating an authorization session ticket um it like at the moment it this one isn't so useful i will probably comment out for the release of the plugin just simply because um the auth ticket is just you know the handle to to the ticket that was created and then the the bottom one the session uh, steam get all session ticket result is actually um a massive list of different error codes basically that can happen with the uh with the login or with the with the authorization of a session through steam now you know you're not really going to need this this is something that you know a lot of people aren't really you know going to need you don't need to worry about that side of things because that's something that steam handles so i have just mentioned it here just because the code will still be there however it'll be commented out um by default but if you want to activate it you can and then the second one that we've got here is the one that people have been asking for is the steam micro txn transaction authorization callback so in this one we drag off the custom event again and break down the struct this has the app id so you know the game that it's being called from the order id this is a you know quite a long um randomized of numbers and characters um basically you know like an encrypted key of the order um and then the main thing here is authorized which is the bool now people have been asking about this because it's not something the engine offers by default however if you want to put if you want to use playfab or something like it which is what i've done um in order to you know do all the the store side of things and then obviously do the stuff through steam in order to purchase with real money how to receive if it was authorized by steam this is what that callback is and off here you must 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 have an if statement to make sure that it has been authorized if you don't include an if statement here then obviously no matter if the player cancels it or it fails because they didn't have enough money they will always be then rewarded yeah you don't want that you don't want that you know you, you could then start getting into big legal trouble because you're giving stuff away to people for free you always want to have this check here to make sure that it was authorized and this is returned by steam this is something that steam tells you know to the callback this was completely authorized on their end so now when receiving the call in engine for your game and that transaction it will say yes this was authorized now now it's down to you to give the player whatever it is that they have bought so the main thing here is to always check the authorized that includes all three of the different types of callbacks that i have included in this plugin as well as the two events that are there by default for you guys to look at now we're just going to hop over to the code just to show you how easy it is to create your own or even just hook up your own so if i just drag the code over you can see here that the callback system is quite simple if you understand c as a basic um so this is the user callback that's got the steam authorization uh, session ticket and the steam microtransaction all we do here is register it and then inside of the functions we simply get the result back from steam so in order to find any of the uh, results like all of this stuff like m underscore h or ticket this is all stuff that is on the steam api documentation 
it's online all you have to do is look for it it's not exactly hard to miss because you know it's it is a massive document filled with everything you could want um and it has all the callbacks across all different situations that you could ever need simply because you know it's steam so if i just quickly drag it across here you can see at the moment that we're inside of the um the user so we've got the steam api and then inside of all of this here you know you've got the user interface the one that we're using the matchmaking interface the friends interface as well is around here somewhere uh you know there's even like you know there's a lot of different oh, that's the friends interface there's a lot of different ones here that you guys could hook up or create if you need to there's it they go into so much that there's even stuff here for callbacks of music so like the callback of if the player has changed the volume you know or playback status has changed of music through steam you know this isn't stuff that people need but if you want it it's there so all you'd need to do then is just create another cpp and h file make sure that you um that you register it properly up here um like within the correct cpp file and do the functions where it returns the correct results for them the only thing you will need to do with each one that you add, you'll need to hop across into the uh, callbacks library and make sure that you do the same as you do with these. So, you know, you're setting it up and your this this bit here is basically to do with removing it if it's if you know, if it's um if it's empty and then setting it up. So, you know, getting the uh getting the actual, you know, callback sort of stuff for it initializing the steam callbacks for the specific you know matchmaking or friends these ones are already handled by me but if you add any more in all you need to do really is just look at what i've done in here and simply just add in the stuff that you that you need for the ones that you've created it's very simple to do and you know this having these callbacks can be pretty powerful you know having everything call back through steam to your game that you need is exactly you know exactly what people want you know you especially with stuff like friends you want to be able to know when the steam game overlay is up you know you could pause the game then if the steam game overlays up and then as soon as it goes back down again it'll automatically fire off to say that it's not active anymore and then you can resume the game stuff like that and i mean obviously the most important one that people seem to want is the steam microtransaction because it's not given to you by default through the engine so it's something that if you're playing, if you're creating a game through Steam and you want to be able to sell stuff on uh, like with real money, this is something you're going to need. Now, the the plugin should hopefully be up within the next couple of days by the time this video goes out. And this video will also be attached to the plugin as documentation video over how to set it up and how it works. The Steam, uh, the plugin will be free because it's simply just a couple of basic functions and events that is needed for you to get started. The rest of it is up to you if you want to include more stuff, but I've included the basic ones, friends, matchmaking, and user, with the, you know, two events each, one really in user, but uh, the two events in each of them, um, you know, as a basics for you to not only look at, but hopefully use because they're ones that people are most likely going to need. And then from there, it, you know, it's down to you in order to um, make sure that you, if you're going to include anything else, it's set up exactly the same way by making sure that it's set up within the callbacks library so that the engine basically knows to call it and that it has reference to it. So that brings the end of that. If if you guys do need anything, again, just leave a comment in the video. Um, but this is, the, you know, this was something that a couple of people asked for and it's something that as well that when I first went through the Playfab, um side of things that it wasn't there and i had to you know we had to find out how how do you actually get this from steam um so i'm just providing this simple callback as a way for people to be able to do it without having to worry again it's going to be free and on the marketplace within the next hope, uh, couple of days hopefully uh, for you guys to download and then hopefully you can just start using this and away you go so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you again next time bye